Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and today I'm going to be showing you how I've created this monochromatic blue look. So if you would like to see how I created this, then please just keep on watching. So I did do my eyebrows off camera because they take a long time. It's I think quite a boring step to watch but if you do want a video on how I did these then drop me a comment and I'll make it happen for you but for this video they're, they're on <laughs> so let's get into it I am going to be using my Ace Beauté Oceanic palette and firstly going into Blue Clam which is I'm not putting it the right one this one here so I'm going to use my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease and get on into that. So I'm just going to be placing this for now and then blending out once I've got the shape I want. I love this palette so much the pigment is amazing they blend amazing so I think that's pretty much the the shape I'm looking for I'm just going to blend the edges out just a little bit here. Look how easily that blends out. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that shape right now, so I think I'm going to dip in with a bit of the Lagoon just to deepen up the crease a little bit more, add a little bit more depth in there. They blend into each other just so, so well. Such an amazing palette. Easily my favourite blues. Okay, so I think that's the basic shape for now. So what do I want to do? Um, I think I am going to just take this little Zoeva Luxe Pencil, the 230, and dip into a bit of the Blue Clam. And I'm just going to take that a little bit. Oh, did I just wobble the camera? Just take that a little bit. Just on the lower lash line, just to connect it up a little bit there. Just uh, blending that out a little bit to create more of the rounded shape here. Not putting any further product on the brush, just, uh, just blending it out. Yeah, I think I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of the Lagoon, the darker one, and just put that a little bit closer to the lash line just to add that depth there. That's what I want. Okay, so uh, Matt's done for now. Let's have a look. What I want to do, so I'm thinking I might take Bay just to go over the main part of my lid and then Bora Bora just on the inner part of my lid. Yeah, let's give that a go. First I'm just going to put on a bit of glitter primer just because that's what I tend to do with shimmers uh, it's just the e.l.f. one 
and then what I'm doing I'm just carving out the shape I want with the uh, glitter primer because I don't fancy doing a full-blown cut crease I'm not I'm not a big fan of doing cut creases to be fair but I don't know if that's because I'm not the best at them maybe So the first shimmer I'm going in with is this one here, Bay, And that one I am just going... Oh, crikey, sorry. <laughs> and that one I'm just going over the main part of... Here it is. So I'm just packing that on the main part of my lid. That's a really beautiful colour. So I'm just going to take a bit of the Marina, the one next to Bay, and I'm going to just go in with a little bit of that just on the outer edge of where I've put the Bay. Sorry, the brush I used for that was just a Beauty Bay uh, BB206, quite a nice one. And then for the inner portion, I'm just going to take the Beauty Bay BB207 and I'm going to go into Bora Bora and I'm just going to place that on the inner part I'm not sure I love these brushes so much actually this is the first time I've used them and uh, they're not definitely not my favourite I prefer the ones from uh, Makeup by Tammy, I think, so far. And I'm just going to take that um, Bora Bora, the lighter one, and I'm just going to bring that round to under my eye a bit here. Then just using that same brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the bay, the uh, the first shimmer. And I'm just going to place a little bit of that under my eye there. Yep, that's what I was looking for. So yeah. Not too shabby. So I'm just going to take my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease and without any extra product, just what's on there from before, I'm just going to blend out these edges a little bit here, just in the crease, just so it's not such a, a massively harsh line. We'll see, we do want to see the difference, but not necessarily. Oh, there's a dog hair. Can I find the dog hair? No, not when I want to. Found the dog hair. They just get everywhere. So I think I'm going to put a bit of the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in 22 Two Turquoise in my waterline. A bit more blue. Which was a really stupid thing to say, considering I am doing a blue monochromatic look. So of course it was going to be blue. A bit more blue. I 
I find that if you wait with these and do a second layer it does uh, show up that much more I'm going to head off camera to do my eyeliner and lashes and I will be back with you to do the highlighter and lips so I'll be back in a moment so mascara liner and lashes done I've just used the W7 Flirty Eyes mascara the elf liner and the lashes are from makeup by Lisa in the style Raven because I absolutely love them I've yet to find any I like more so for highlighter I'm going to use the makeup by Lisa in the shade pearl just because it's got a blue violet glow to it which goes with the monochromatic look so So let's get this on. Oh, hair in the way. Yep, that's it. Look at that. And I think I'm also going to use that highlighter just for under the brow bone here, just to give it a bit of oomph. Yep. And when I say a little bit, I generally mean a lot. That's just me. <laughs> So, if you don't like a lot, then just don't use a lot. And I'm also going to pop some of this on the inner corner, that's it. Just for a pop of inner corner highlight. Perfect. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Melt Bullet lipstick in the shade Space Cake, which is a beautiful blue-grey. So blue monochromatic look finished, what do you think? I am in love with it, loving the blue eyebrows with it. So uh, yeah, if you'd like to see any more monochromatic looks then uh, pop me a comment in the box below and I would be happy to give them a go. Um, so yeah, for now that's it from me. If you've liked this please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So from me today is goodbye, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you again very very soon. Bye. Hey, what's wrong with you? Looking good down on me. Right, that will be being edited out.